Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, I wasn't really planning on making a video about this, uh, but I figured why not just make a quick one. This is something that I have really only put a couple minutes into. I ordered some parts, they all arrived today, so I figured I'd go ahead and make a video of me putting it together. Um, if you are new to the channel or really just haven't paid too much attention, this is the air compressor that I've been using. It's an Ironman 4x4 Air Champ Pro. It pushes out something like 5 CFM, um, which is plenty for the tires that I have on my vehicle and works really quite well. Uh, it came with this airline. Uh, it's plenty of length, maybe 20, 25 feet of length. It's a, a smaller diameter, maybe a quarter inch diameter with like a nice flexible rubber hose. It has a quick disconnect on, uh, on one end to connect up to the, the air truck there. And then on the other end, it's got a gauge, and I've already cut it because I kind of got started, but on this end, it's got just a thread-on uh, tire valve stem attachment there. So this is sort of what I've been using with the uh, 5.6 or whatever CFM that this puts out. It fills up my tires pretty dang quick, so really a lot of the time that I spend is threading this sucker on and going from tire to tire. So. Just to make my life a little easier, at least in theory, um, I decided to take this same hose, reuse it, and split it so that I can air up two tires at the same time. So save a little bit of time. Um, so let me go ahead and show you the, the stuff that I have and I'll get putting it together. Okay, so this is really it, to be honest. There's not a whole lot to it. Uh, it's just a couple parts that I ordered off Amazon and it came next day, which was nice. So this is a four-way manifold. Um, I went with four-way. Originally, I was gonna go with three, but I went with four so I could add just a normal tire Schrader valve onto the bottom. I figured when I'm airing up or down or whatever, or if I need like a backup because this pump's not working and I need to hook somebody else's pump up to my airline. Um, I can just use that it's sort of universal. Also, if my tire gauge uh, dies, because it does run off batteries, I decided to go digital. Um, I can hook up just like a normal pocket uh, air gauge onto there. So kind of just keeps the options open. Basically, I'm gonna take the line that I have here uh, that came with it. This is the quick disconnect that connects up to the air compressor. I'm gonna have this come out here, maybe, I don't know, about that far, so close to the air compressor. I'll snip it, I'll attach it up to the manifold here at this uh, barb, run it through. Um, I went ahead and upgraded the gauge because the one that came with it is really inaccurate, so um, I figured I might as well upgrade it. And then basically, I'll have another length of air, or of hose come out, connect up to the T, this will split off, one will go up to one wheel, probably one of the front wheels, and then it'll keep going and it'll connect up to the uh, the rear wheel. So, And then instead of the screw-on type, I went ahead and picked up these snap-on style. So that should hopefully, I actually haven't used them yet, but it should hopefully make things a little easier. Let's see how this works. So it's like that, and push it on, oh man. Boom, and then pull it off, just like that. Push it on, pull it off. Awesome, that's gonna be great. All right, so that's, that's the gist of it. Let me go ahead and put it together. Okay, so I basically got from the air compressor to my little manifold. The next bit is gonna go from the manifold uh, to the T, and that needs to be somewhere kind of near the front tire. So I'm gonna go over to the car and just kind of get an idea of whereabouts that would need to be. Plenty of room. Air compressor usually sits, I don't know, somewhere right around there-ish. Uh, let's just for the sake of argument, put it right in the middle. 
So then this guy, connect up like that. And so this is going to run to about here. Right about there. I'll make it a little, a little longer because I'm going to have plenty. So, uh, right about there. Okay, so now that I've got the little segment right next to the air compressor and then going to the tire, the next bit that I'll need is to connect it up to my T and then I'll need a short piece, maybe a couple, couple feet, really not a whole lot, uh, running up to here and then quite a bit running to the back. All right, so here it is all laid out. I, it's like herding cats trying to get this thing to lay flat, but hopefully you can kind of get an idea and see how it's all put together. So right here, this connects up to the air compressor. It runs to my four-way manifold with the, the gauge, the Schrader on the backup Schrader on the bottom. Then it runs out of the manifold into a line to approximately right in front of one of the front tires. And then there's a T. This will run up to the front tire, and then this guy will shoot off out to the rear and connect up to the rear tire. So since both the tires are connected, whatever pressure you know these are at when I stop, the both to, both the tires should be should be the same. I was able to use all of the same hosing, so let's go ahead and hook it up to the car and just kind of see what it looks like. That's basically it. Nothing too complicated, you know. Hooked up to the back, hooked up to the front. Got the T running over here. I know it seems weird. Gauge is upside down. Um, I could flip that, but you know, at the same time, I can just do something like that. And now I've got my gauge. So there, you can see it's reading 36.4 PSI. Um, cool, neat. Turn it on, 36.4, cool. And then I would just burn, pressurize it. That's about that. Another cool thing that I'm thinking about doing, me and my buddy are thinking of getting Anderson connectors, putting like a little outlet here just so that you can plug in right there. That way you don't have to have your hood up and have people pulling over to see if you're all right. So. Yeah, these, uh, these connectors look like they're going to work pretty well. You just pull them right off, just like that. Way easier than the thread-on kind. So, really excited. Let's see what this whole thing looks like packed up. So as you can see, packed up just fine. Everything coils up just fine. This is the Iron Man 4x4 Air Champ Pro like OEM line that came with it. So really overall, what did I add? I added the mass of this 4x4 and I upgraded the chucks at the end, but I removed the stock uh, gauge and the stock connector here with the thread on style uh, valve stem adapter thing. So overall, I think this was a worthwhile upgrade. Uh, you might end up with, you know, like I did with 120 hose clamp connectors, but I can use those for future projects and stuff. Um, I've also got a couple spare nail to uh, threaded barb things and a couple extra little things, but you know, that stuff gets used in other, other projects as well. So it's not a total loss. 
But overall, pretty happy with this. Looking forward to trying it out. Um, really, I don't see how it could fail me. It's pretty straightforward and pretty simple. So, so there you go. Just a quick, I don't know, 30 minute project, garage project on a, on a weekday or a weekend. Really not a whole lot to it. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll link everything that I used in the description below. Uh, prices are gonna vary, obviously, depending on you know where you order it from or if you have some of this stuff laying around. Uh, but if you have any questions, just let me know. It's pretty straightforward. You don't need any fancy plumbing or anything like that. So anyone can really do it with basic tools. So I hope you enjoyed that one and I'll see you in the next one. Now I know I didn't show you guys it actually in use, but if you've ever used or seen somebody use or watched a video or whatever of somebody using a tire air compressor, it should be no different, but stay tuned for future videos and I'll definitely be using it and I'll show you guys how it works out for me and if it sucks majorly or if it's kind of cool or not worth it or what. So, cool.